The Lost Books of the Bible. The first book of Enoch chapter 67, verse 1 to 13. God's promise to Noah. Places of punishment of the angels and of the kings. And in those days the word of God came unto me, and he said unto me, Noah, thy lot has come up before me, a lot without blame, a lot of love and uprightness. And now the angels are making a wooden building, and when they have completed that task I will place my hand upon it and preserve it, and there shall come forth from it the seed of life, and a change shall set in so that the earth will not remain without inhabitant. And I will make fast thy seed before me for ever and ever, and I will spread abroad those who dwell with thee. It shall not be unfruitful on the face of the earth, but it shall be blessed and multiply on the earth in the name of the Lord. And he will imprison those angels, who have shown unrighteousness, in that burning valley which my grandfather Enoch had formerly shown to me in the west among the mountains of gold and silver and iron and soft metal and tin. And I saw that valley in which there was a great convulsion and the convulsion of the waters. And when all this took place, from that fiery molten metal and from the convulsion thereof in that place, there was produced a smell of sulphur, and it was connected with those waters, and that valley of the angels who had led astray mankind burned beneath that land. And through its valleys proceed streams of fire, where these angels are punished who had led astray those who dwell upon the earth. But those waters shall in those days serve for the kings and the mighty and the exalted, and those who dwell on the earth, for the healing of the body, but for the punishment of the spirit. Now their spirit is full of lust, that they may be punished in their body, for they have denied the Lord of spirits and see their punishment daily, and yet believe not in his name. And in proportion as the burning of their bodies becomes severe, a corresponding change shall take place in their spirit for ever and ever. For before the Lord of spirits, none shall utter an idle word. For the judgment shall come upon them, because they believe in the lust of their body and deny the spirit of the Lord. And those same waters will undergo a change in those days. For when those angels are punished in these waters, these water springs shall change their temperature, and when the angels ascend, this water of the springs shall change and become cold. And I heard Michael answering and saying, This judgment wherewith the angels are judged is a testimony for the kings and the mighty who possess the earth, because these waters of judgment minister to the healing of the body of the kings and the lust of their body, Therefore they will not see and will not believe that those waters will change and become a fire which burns forever.